Good afternoon, welcome to Garden Crossings. I'm Heidi and today I am going to take you for a walk through the greenhouses because it's certainly starting to look a little bit like spring here. So the plants we've been planting for probably about the last six weeks or so, and I would really say in the last two weeks, we've really started to notice signs of spring. Plants are starting to sprout, flowers are starting to form, and things are starting to look just so beautiful. We'll start shipping here probably in the next, I think it's about three weeks yet. March 27 is our first ship week of the season. And we'll ship areas like Florida, California, maybe even some of the Southern Texas areas. How we do our shipping is we ship by zone. So starting with zone 10 on March 27, and then every week adding a zone on until we get to, let's just say April 24, which is when we start shipping zone six, May 1 is zone 5, etc. So when we do ship the plants out, we make sure that we're shipping them at an appropriate time for your planting zone. So let's take a look at some of the beautiful flowers that are currently blooming here in the greenhouse. So we'll also check at foliage if we come across things that are beautiful foliage color. Here we have the Heuchera Eye Spy. Uh, actually, it's Heucherella Eye Spy beautiful coppery orange colors, little pink tufts of blooms. Such a beautiful splash of color for a shade garden. Here's some Heucherella hopscotch, a little bit more of the orangey red tones to it. Planted together, they make a very nice pairing. Some plants are just starting to sprout. So here we have some ferns, not a lot of foliage there yet, but everything comes out in its own unique time. Right now, we're just going to look, walk past some hibiscus. These are hardy hibiscus. They're not even starting to sprout yet. This side of the aisle, we've got some hostas, and they're just starting to crack dormant. See, you can see there's a few that are a little bit more foliage showing, but for the most part, they're just starting to crack through the soil. Virginia, look at those huge, huge leaves. This is the Miss Piggy. Not a lot of flower color yet, but oh wait, let's look. Tucked in there is some beautiful hot pink flowers. And I see a bunch of flower clusters just waiting to emerge. So I would say in the next week or so, these are really gonna be full of beautiful pink flowers. The phlox are starting to show some color. But before we jump ahead to the phlox, let's stop here at the heuchera. The dark black one you're seeing, that's the Heuchera ball, uh, evening gown. The chartreuse green is Heuchera dressed up ball gown. Some Dolce frosted berry. Ah, oh, Dianthus, these are smelling so good. This is the Dianthus funky fuchsia. Check out those large bright pink blooms. I love this time of year when things are starting to color up. The, the Phlox Pink Sparkles, just starting to show a little bit of color. Ruby Riot, beautiful magenta blooms. The thing that's nice too when we walk through the greenhouse at this time of year when we see things flowering is that's also a very good indicator of what the earlier blooming perennials are in the garden. So if they start blooming early in the greenhouse, they're usually gonna be the first ones to show some color in the garden as well. Still be dark side of the moon. The foliage is just starting to emerge. Look at that dark burgundy black color. Oh, wow, the viola. First one we have here is the viola halo violet. Look at those blooms and oh, so fragrant. I love it. These are also edible. So if you like to really fancy up a salad, these flowers are edible as well. Halo sky blue, beautiful periwinkle blue color with just a little bit of white and yellow there. Look at that, a sea of color. Next is the Viola Rebecca. A little bit smaller blooms, not quite as much flower yet. White with a little dusting of purple. cross over the aisle and we'll head over to some of our gallons. So those are just all quartz that I just showed you. 
Here are some gallons that we're going to be shipping online this year. These plants are a little more mature, so in some cases, they're a little bit further along. We're going to jump the aisle here and take a look at the classic coral dianthus. Look at those beautiful coral blooms. Now, not all of these are blooming yet, but look at all the buds. That is going to just be a sea of color when those buds all crack open into blooms. Dianthus marchino, beautiful red, a little bit smaller than the funky fuchsia and the classic coral, but it's got that blue-gray foliage. Some paint the town, paint the town fuchsia. Not a lot of color there yet. Some more heuchera, or actually heucherella, heucherella I spy and Heucherella Red Rover. And these are the plants that made me decide I had to come out today and do a video, are these Pulmonaria Pink of Blue. Look at those things, loaded with beautiful periwinkle blooms. Nice flower size, a great plant for spring for your shade gardens. And the foliage is pretty cool too, so even when the flowers are not blooming, excellent foliage color but i'm just so impressed with those large clusters of flowers and just so much color here on the pulmonaria as we head down you'll see some of the plants are just like we said earlier with the quartz cracking dormancy others haven't even decided to wake up yet so the hibiscus they're always the last thing to sprout in the spring Typically outdoors anyway, here in Michigan, it's not uncommon for us to start seeing the little sprigs until the 1st of June. And that's true in the greenhouse too. They're gonna to be behind some of the other varieties because even though like here's the, uh, the daylily starting to wake up, there's just no comparison because hibiscus usually are maybe four to six weeks behind the daylily starting to sprout a little bit. Got a few daisies up ahead here. Let's see which one. I believe it's Daisy May. Uh, actually, no, banana cream. Look at that huge flower there. Beautiful blooms. That flower is about five inches across. That's pretty impressive. The thing I like about uh, banana cream is as the flowers open, they're white. And as they start to age, they take on a little bit of a yellow color. Actually, you know what? I said that backwards. As they open, they open yellow, fade to a lighter yellow, and then as they are towards the end, they're more of a white. So you really can get three different colors on one plant at a time, which I think is really cool. Some salvia starting to wake up. Oh, this is a cool one. So this is Amsonia, and this is Amsonia storm cloud. I'm going to pull one out because they're... So Amsonia storm cloud, when it starts to emerge from the ground, and you can see it's fully erupting here in this pot, look at how dark black those stems are. So this is a plant that is super cool, even before the flowers start, with its neat dark foliage. And as this plant matures, just imagine a whole, a whole mounding of black stems. And then the beauty is, is when they open, they open up into periwinkle blue flowers like so a gorgeous plant one that i think is underutilized personally in the garden here's a fun new one this year this is a polymonium this is golden feathers great yellow foliage with a little bit of green and then it's going to get those jacob ladder flowers on it as it starts to bloom so i'll have to show you that once it starts setting up its blooms but right now this is just beautiful foliage color. And this is where I just love showing the rainbow array of color. So heuchera are a great plant to just add into the garden to really have almost any colors. There's the dark blacks, the burgundies, the oranges, the chartreuse greens, the berry, berry burgundy colors, so many colors when you add heuchera into the garden and landscape. So let's take a closer look because this is all 
they're new growth. So sometimes the color is a little bit varied from the new growth to the mature growth. So let's first start off here with the Heuchera Apple Twist. Look at that beautiful new growth color. As this plant uh, gets older or longer in the season, it's gonna have more of just the chartreuse kind of coloration. But look at the beautiful variation there on that new growth. Next is the Black Pearl Heuchera. And you can see this is a little bit more older leaves. We'll go into this one here with that newer foliage and look how glossy and dark black that is. Cherry truffles, kind of an orangey with a little bit of reddish pink. Here we have the frosted berry. And you can see here's the new growth, a lot more pink tones. And then we'll go in and look there at the older leaf where you're seeing more of that gray overlay. Dressed up ball gown is a beautiful chartreuse. And you can see how it's really, really bright green. And the older leaves have a little bit more yellow to them. Evening gown, beautiful dark foliage. Mahogany monster. So you can see how the new growth on Mahogany Monster is really bright, a little bit more of that yellow tone. The older leaves are a little deeper, almost chocolatey. Peachberry Ice. The new leaves are very orange. And the older leaves are a little bit darker. Pretty Pistachio Heuchera. New growth, really bright lime green. And the older growth there has some more veining to it. Silver gumdrop. New growth is very, uh, shows a lot of the rosy tones. And the older growth, we're going closer, you'll see has more of that silver overlay. Gumdrop. Spearmint. Here we have Dolce Spearmint. New growth is gonna be that lighter green kind of a, a glossy look to it. And then the older growth has more of the darker green with a veining. Toffee tart. Old growth are the darker leaves. The orange growth are the newer leaves. Dolce wild berry. Beautiful purple foliage. The older leaves have a little bit more veining going on. Next to it is the wild rose, rosier pink leaves and the older leaves are a little deeper with a dark veining. And I think this is a great actual side by side to show you because oftentimes it gets a little confusing what is the difference between Primo Wild Rose Heuchera and Primo Wild Berry. So here you're seeing the two different blocks side by side. Now these plants have to continue to grow. It's still a little early in the season so they're not as full is what they, they'll be when we ship them out. But I think you can definitely see the contrast of color between these two plants quite well. And that might actually help you with making your buying decision from one to the other. So a lot of color going on in the greenhouses right now. We're just so excited for today's sunny day. We've had some real gloomy days lately. So to have the sun out is just such a welcoming sign. If you have questions on any of the plants that I showed you today, I would love to answer any questions you might have. If, um, I'm not gonna be able to put links below because there's gonna be so many plants. So if there's something you're specifically wondering, just tell me the time frame you saw it in the movie and I will go ahead and give you all the information that I can. Thank you for watching today. I hope that this gives you a little bit of spring inspiration. It surely has for us. Thanks for watching, I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings.